Welcome back, guys, to Hyrule Warriors, where the battle versus Gandalf has begun. We'll see her prevail. With Lana by her side, both halves joined up. They were kept separate, supposedly, by Ganon himself. At well, that point, we've already done a little bit of damage, so let's keep going. Come on, Lana, help me out. We tend to let him attack to do the weakness strikes because, if anything, we do know his attack patterns from the many times we've faced him. So will this battle prove that hard? Are there tricks up his sleeve? That's what I'm wondering. The other question is, I'm wondering if Volga will actually get here anytime soon. Seems he's stuck fighting forever and ever. You're gonna have to tap me for something better than that. I just find running around better than blocking most of the time. Especially because I can dodge. Oh! Small guy got me. What is hitting me here? Something is hitting me. I don't know what. It's something small and pesky, not something big and worrying. But it's annoying all the same. So with that said, let's go crazy on him. Put him in weakness strike mode. Smash him up the best we can. Ganondorf isn't that great for HP anymore. Well, is it my imagination or did he just disappear somewhere? Where is he? Right, he was coming into attack at that moment, so good that we dodged. And another weakness strike is gained. Ganondorf hasn't got that much HP on him. Volga's still fighting the big swathes of troops with his flamethrower breath. You'd imagine he'd kind of deal by now, wouldn't you? And I think we have this down pat. We have this strategized. Lana's not even taken any damage, has he? She's completely fine. Now I'm not, however. Well, that should be all she wrote. Mission success, Gandorf is defeated. You are beneath my notice. I leave you to wallow in your own insignificance. Gandorf has retreated from the line of battle. And so we emerge victorious. Great, looks like we fought him off. And you don't need to be here anymore, do you? It must be time for you to leave. <laughs> Sia, you could just stop, you know. If you use any more magic, you'll... <gasps> just leave! No one can keep me from getting everything I want. So, does Sears Tale come to an end like this? We kind of know the end of the story proper, if you know what I mean. With 60,000 rupees gained, another Scepter of Time picked up, Dragonbone Pike, Scepter of Time 4 star again with Stars Plus, and Curse Shackle there for Midnight. We've got ourselves a few materials. Of the silver variety, which is quite nice, Gomez Acid as well, Essence of Big Pose, Fiery Elfos Leather, Monster Teeth, and Metal Plates gained. With that said and done, Sia's Tell is over without much fanfare. So, we've completed both this storyline and the main storyline. All that's left to do now before we 
maybe head on to adventure mode because I've seen you guys very much want me to 100% it. Now this will be a one hell of a massive undertaking, that's for sure. Probably a little bit repetitive in terms of battling, but if you guys want it, I'll give it to you. But first of all, before we do anything, we have to clear out all the collectibles. So a few episodes devoted to that, we've got to go revisit. But with the power of editing, we'll be able to pick them up quite nice and fast. So, see you around. All right, in a second. Let's start, of course, at the start. Where else? Let's get ourselves that heart sculpture and both those heart containers and heart pieces on hard, of course. And so our collecting gets underway. Without having explored the entire map, I never managed to find tons of these treasures that were around in the first level. Of course, we were following missions, trying to do things, and with Link already at level 35, as you can see, it's not exactly that hard to break through. So I found myself two red chests, both in the same area. So picking up one underneath a destructible rock, I get myself a full heart container! Which means that the other red chest I found surely has to be the heart piece, so with another heart added to Link's name, taking this keep revealed the next chest, so let's take this one, if I can. Which brings us a heart piece and leaves us just the hard mode sculpture to pick up. So let's work out how to get that next. And so it seems that a sculpture has appeared on the battlefield map with King Dodongo having spawned. Everything's come to a head, it seems. King Dodongo has advanced towards Hyrule Castle, but the sculpture itself spawned way, way, way back. So finding it is our aim. Now. It could be in the castle itself, or it could be over this other side, so all that's left is to check this out and find out where our sculpture has spawned. And indeed, luck prevails. And we get our gold sculpture. I wonder what illustration piece that will be. Will it be for our second lot, or will it be for our first? Because I'm pretty sure we only miss one sculpture on the main storyline trail, so we'll see where that lends us. Alright then, time for me to defeat King Dodongo and end this mission. And so with mission completed, one more Skullshula destroyed, we find ourselves nearly completing our first picture. With Fire's body having been complete two more, and we'll be there. So, with one mission completely taken for all of its lovely collectibles, we move on to the next one. We'll have to do this one twice it seems, once for Link's heart piece, and once for the Skullshula. So let's get searching. And so, after fighting through and capturing the Crystal Cave Keeper, red chest has appeared, though a previous red chest appeared where Impa currently is, the flag on the map that turned out to be a weapon pouch. I'm hoping this time round, we get what we need. Indeed it is, a hard piece is obtained for Link, and... In my travels, of course, with the 1,000 kills, I managed to find the Skullchilla that we missed with Impa before it was on the other side of the wall. So, Impa, it's your turn to finally pick up that, well, Skullchilla you missed, plus the new one as well, so over to her. So now it's Impa's turn to pick up her gear with things going on. We take ourselves the Skullchilla we managed to miss during the story. Well, that said, it's time to earn ourselves a second one. And by the looks of it, complete ourselves our first picture, so onwards to that! Well, after completing the level, it seems I was unable to find the second gold Skullchilla. I defeated all the enemies, did as it was, so there must be some kind of secret hidden condition to get it. So with one more piece, the centerpiece left, it's time to go back in. And so on, heading through the mission once again, but this time not so tidily. With letting all the keeps behind us be taken and not engaging everyone for materials, the Skullshula has appeared at the point where the two bomb Jews hit the spire and Wizra was defeated beforehand, so I'm assuming that might be the trigger to leave things a little less neat with people actually going down. So, with that Skullshula picked up, we're going to complete the picture. First of all, I'm going to go get these materials from all these captains, and I'll see you at the end screen. And so with the mission completed, we finally complete our first picture. 
that with all these problems, with possible things to do within the mission, not just using the weapon, it might be best for me to try and make this into guide form from now on. So, in each time I'm going to get the Sculptula, I'm going to write on the screen. In fact, I'll backdate this to the first hard mode Sculptula we got as well, how I went and got it. So, with that said, it might be time for me to look at a guide to get the exact things so you guys know in the future. Me, I'm going to try and get them blind all the same, see what we can do. So, onwards we go! For the picture is completed and it glows, you've collected all the pieces of this illustration. It can be viewed from the gallery at any time, and your rewards map has also been added to adventure mode. Aha, nice! So we got ourselves a map for doing that in adventure mode. Which of course we'll be tackling soon enough, as soon as we get through all of this anyway. Right, so with everything collected from the Sheikah tribesmen and the armies of Ruin, it's on to the Sorcerers of the Wood 2 adventures we have here. Link with the Fire Rod, who knows what kind of thing I need to do for that. And Impa again with a heart piece, so let's go with Impa and get ourselves that heart piece first off. I'll see you there. And so after fighting through the mainstay of the mission, we reached North Square where a red chest has appeared after taking the keep on the way to battle with Rizro. So, it's obviously going to be exactly what we're looking for. A heart piece is ours for Impa, so it's time to go again with Link and find out how we get our Sculptula. So with the stage nearly completed again, a Sculptula appears on the battlefield as soon as I took Goma below half HP, it seemed to appear, so it's all about finding it, and if anything, I'd say it would be up that very high path, we can hear it from here, it's not round here though, so it would be up that path that there never was a treasure chest when we saw before, so if we head on round, will it be there? Oh, in fact, it might be higher up at this rate. As you can see, that we can go along, or at least you can see that we can get and get higher. Right then, a gold sculpture of ours, and another one added to the picture frame. So let's see our new frame start off, shall we? And so we start off our new picture, though. I think, if anything, that is the more of the imprison. So are we building one of all the enemies of all the bad guys after gaining one of the heroes? I think we may be, well, we'll uncover more by getting down to finding more collectibles, won't we? So our next level, our next scenario, of course, is the Valley of Seers. Sheik is a hard piece, and apart from that, we got to go again with Link with the Night Sword, the basic equipment. So, let's find out how to get the stuff from the sources of the valley. So after fighting through the mainstay of the scenario, we reach ourselves a red chest at last, and the ruined summit keep being captured, so... Sheik, it's time for you to claim your heart piece, and I'm quite glad I got to play Sheik a bit more because she was our least played character by a long shot. So I got to understand a little bit more about her combat before we go into adventure mode. So, piece of heart gained. Let's go defeat Man Handler, and then start off again with Link to find out where I can get this sculpture they're at. So I've got myself a sculpture to appear. It seems after finding the real Man Handler stalk that it spawns. So, with that said, we start to go off searching. Wondering where exactly it could lie in this big space prompted. Not a sound less far. So, if anything, I'd say it's up the middle somewhere. Indeed, we can hear it now. So, we pick ourselves up yet another Sculptulus. Let's see what part of the picture this reveals in a second. So we get ourselves another part of the picture, another central part as well, which I think we can see a little bit of Ganon, I'd have to say, with the red hair appearing. Ganon or Ganondorf, that's what you wonder what it'll be in the background, but with our fourth mission completely clear, it's now time to move on to timeline splits, where it seems we can do things all at the same time, because Lana here can do it both for the heart container and... For the Skullshula, again with Sheik here, and again with Link here, so we're looking better for clearing things faster, which will be definitely a relief. So I say it's on to Twilight Field next! See you there! And so after an age of searching, I think I finally found myself the heart container as there's a hookshot spot over here and a red chest. This one took me ages! 
ages of searching to find thus far, and I still haven't figured out how to get the Sculptula yet. I've even beat up Midna beforehand, but no, nothing's happened. So the hot container is claimed. Let's see if something else, or furthering the mission, will get me what I need. And so we're continuing the mission proper. A Sculptula has appeared as we take Bridge Keep, it seems. I'm not sure if that's fully exactly what we have to do, but if it is, that's an easy one to get. A very easy one to get, considering the Sculptula spawned right here as well. So we've just min the left for me to defeat. And probably not taking too long for me to do so. I'll see you for what the picture is next. And so with another piece of the picture obtained, in fact we're going extremely central and that looks more like a Ganon type hair than a Ganondorf type hair. So is it a thing of him? I do not know, but let's move on. And choose our next destination for that level is clear. The Palace of Twilight is our recommended level next, but I'm going to go along this way and then along this way as a whole because it seems like it's harder to get these ones completed. This is getting these ones completed because we just have to use Link and Sheik to get these. So shall we go get Sheik's one first? Because of course that's a big hot container. I'll go get it indeed. And so with large scale battle underway, the boulder keeps being taken. No boulders are coming, but Daruna is. I found myself a red chest though under a boulder. So, well that said, considering its location... It should be what I'm hoping for. A hot container is gained, but how about getting this Sculptula? That's the real question. Well, let's delete Darunia first and get ourselves more materials. Hooray! And so, after another attempt, I might add, I've managed to make the Goron spawn, or at least the Goscular spawn. I've been fighting so many Gorons that they pride my mind the entirety of Goron Phallus's at advancing towards the Allied base that they may be. But I'm busting forward, trying to dodge stuff, because Darunia won't be able to regain stamina in time, that's for sure. I've already taken this keep once before, but Bomb Chooser appeared, but that's not what we're after at the moment. Because the obvious spot for Skullshire to appear is obvious. Right then, we've got the Skullshire, but can I complete the mission? You'll find out if I'm there with a victory screen. And so another piece of the picture is gained for the frame, this time the very top left, so now we're working on the outside, are we? But I'm pretty sure this is a big picture of Ganon and the Imprisoned going on. Well, with that said, it's time to move on for one more stage, I think. In fact, I'm thinking a different scenario for my filming as a whole at the moment. But we've done ourselves now the Twilight Field, we've done ourselves Death Mountain. Now it's time to move on with Link, and sort out the rest of Skyloft, don't you think? So, after fighting through the level and taking as many keeps as possible, I think I finally found the heart piece up here in the North Rock Faced Keep, so it's time to grab that one. No Sculpture thus far. I wonder what the activation thing is. Indeed, a heart piece is found here, so if you're following this as a guide, that's where to go. But still, let's find ourselves a Sculptula as well, eh? And so once more, the Great Fairy helps us find a gold Sculptula. For summoning her seems to have been the key part here, but while I'm fighting Volga, it's time to find whatever we need to find. Which is actually really near to here. Okay, can't see anything here, so down a bit lower. Indeed it is, just behind a pumpkin, so with just the defeat of Volga left to go, we get ourselves a gold sculpture. Let's see what illustration piece we get next after I defeat the boss. So another space fills up yet again central, confirming it to be Ganon that we're unveiling, that's for sure. But is there anyone else there with him, or is it just him and his parts and the imprisoned itself? You've collected 25 illustration pieces, the bazaar has leveled up next to 50 pieces. Potions have become more effective, more mixtures are available in the apothecary. That's brilliant to know, but the higher mixtures cost a lot of stuff, silver materials and the whatnot. So now we've completed this tier of things overall. I'm actually going to move on next episode because I want to complete this and it's not exactly that far left if you think about the fact that Ganon's got most of his stuff as well, but we have to do these levels like several times, so that's going to be interesting. But I really want to check out and I'm really curious about adventure mode, so we'll cycle through doing the collectibles and the adventure mode 
next episode we're going straight to adventure. We're going to have an episode there, and then maybe think about getting more collectibles to power up our characters for further adventure mode adventuring the episode after that. So join me then for more Hyrule Warriors as we continue to devour the content. Bye-bye. <laughs>